So let's understand subluxation. This is a chiropractic term. It's not easy to say first time around, subluxation. Uh, it's not even easy to say the second time around, subluxation. But what it means is when, a, when, when spinal bones become misaligned, it puts pressure on nerves affecting their function. Pretty, that's pretty much what happens. So how does this work? You know, this is how I explain it. Your, your spine, okay, 24 vertebrae, spinal cord in the middle, is just like the fuse box of your house, okay? Now, we talk to people all the time and you ask people, what does a chiropractor do? Well, low back, neck pain, headaches, you know, some sort of symptom issue, right? Well, true, it works phenomenally, okay? But what happens is this, it's much more than that. We understand that physical pain, you get hit by a car, you get hit by a bus, you get hit by a bat, you get hit by your sister, whatever. You, 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 you can get misaligned. We understand the physical issues. But how does a chemical stress, how does an emotional stress make bones come out of place? Please tell me, doc, I gotta know, right? Well, this is how it works. Your nervous system is just like the fuse box of your house, okay? So when your nervous system gets overloaded, well, let's go back. Your nervous system is reacting to the environment, right? You got chemical, physical, emotional stress in the environment. Your nervous system is monitoring, mediating that and trying to adapt to that stress, okay? And when you're healthy, your internal resistance of your nervous system is able to adapt to the external, external stresses in the environment. When the external stresses, those chemical, physical, emotional stresses in, that are in the environment are overloading your nervous system, it increases its tone and what it'll start to do is contract muscle and it will literally start to turn off those switches of your fuse box. It'll literally turn off those, it'll subluxate those bones, putting pressure on nerve as a short term response to deal with the stress. Your body will literally start to shut down systems, kind of like your house, right? If you're in your house and your, your kitchen has an iron on and a TV on and a radio on and a disco ball on or whatever you've got going on in the kitchen, you got all the electricity going. Well, what's going to happen? You blow a fuse, right? So you run downstairs and you, you, you find the fuse to the kitchen, you put it back on, you go back upstairs and everything's fine for a couple minutes till you blow it again, right? So it's the stress that causes the subluxation, okay? And if you don't take the stress out of your life, you don't start unplugging some of those electric things, well, guess what? You keep subluxating over and over again. You keep having to run down the steps. So the way the body adapts to lifestyle stress, chemical, physical, and emotional stress, is it starts to shut down systems of your body. It's a brilliant short-term mechanism so the rest of your body doesn't break down. Short-term, left there for a long period of time, like a day, a week, a year, 10 years, a lifetime. If you don't put those switches back where they're supposed to be, and you don't start dealing with those lifestyle stresses, you don't have an efficient running nervous system. And that's really what chiropractic is all about. It's measuring and looking for the efficiency of your nervous system, correcting it, correcting the adaptation, and then also the lifestyle part is addressing those lifestyle stresses that cause it.